Welcome to DriveWise Cars, my name is Stephen and this is our beautiful 2012 Mini Countryman Cooper finished in true blue metallic. The mileage on this one is just 37,167. It's had just the one owner from new and it comes complete with a benefit and reassurance of a fully documented mini service history. The specification on this one includes a chili pack, full black gravity leather interior trim, Xenon headlamps, sun protection glass, 17 inch twin spoke alloy wheels, chrome line exterior trim pack and flat load boot floor. So without further ado, let's have a closer look round, shall we? So we'll start off at the front and if I could just point out the radiator grill and the air intake vent underneath the front number plate there. You can see they're all nice and shiny and bright. Well, that's part of the chrome line exterior trim pack. As we come down the near side or passenger side, I'll just stop and uh, admire one of those beautiful 17 inch twin spoke alloy wheels. And the chrome line exterior trim pack theme continues, as we can see by just looking at the side indicator on the wing there. And then looking at that rear glass on the rear passenger door, we can see it's darker than the front door. Well, that too is part of the sun protection glass. Another one of those gorgeous alloys as we slowly make our way around to the back. Now with a chili pack, standard features include uh, rear parking sensors, and there's four of them just there, and sport seats, and also a three sport multifunction leather steering wheel. And as we come around to the rear, the uh, rear number plate also gets some of the chrome line exterior trim pack treatment. And then coming down to the offside or driver's side, I'll just take a moment to pause so we can appreciate those beautiful clean lines as we slowly meander our way back to the front, just where we started from. It's a very, very pretty car, isn't it? Very, very pretty indeed. So that's the outside. Let's have a look on the inside, shall we? See if that's as nice as the outside. So I'll just pop the driver's door open and we'll check out the door card first of all. to make sure that's in good order. And it most certainly is. Then pan over to the interior and we can see those lovely sport seats and absolutely pristine black leather upholstery. The driver's seat is height adjustable, just using that lever there. And there's also that lovely three spoke leather multifunction steering wheel. I'll just park myself inside and we can have a close look of what's going on. So on the left side of the steering wheel, we've got buttons here to adjust the volume of the radio and the arrows allow you to select which station you'd like to listen to. Once you've paid your uh, telephone up to the Bluetooth system and you receive an incoming call, we need to do Press the telephone icon and you can chat away merrily. Then coming over to the right hand side of the steering wheel, we've got cruise control and then sat just above the steering wheel, we've got the rev counter incorporating a digital speedo and just to confirm the mileage for you, 37,167. Coming over to the central part of the dashboard, we've got the traditional, I'm just about to start the car off, uh, we've got the traditional mini speedo just here and then underneath that we've got the controls for the radio to switch the radio on that's it uh, and we can cut a radio there and we've also got telephone so you can pair your telephone up to the Bluetooth system underneath that we've got a CD player all the heating and ventilation controls. So on the left hand side we've got the fan speed, the right hand side temperature, take that down a couple of degrees, and these buttons here allow you to direct the air wherever you'd like it to go to. To switch the air conditioning on just press the button and the green light activates. And then we've got the heated rear window and fast demist for those cold winter mornings. The bottom row of switches are for the front electric passenger window, rear passenger window, a master switch if you wanted to lock yourself in 
and these two for the front and rear driver's side windows. We've got twin cup holders, a six speed manual transmission and there's also a USB and an auxiliary port as well. I'll just switch the, uh, the engine off and then we can have a, a look just behind the driver's seat and see what that's like. So again, check out the door card. It's absolutely beautiful. Those rear seats are pristine. We'll come round to the tailgate now. To access the boot on a Mini Countryman, all we need to do, press the Mini Badge at the top and lift. And there we are. So as we can see, there's an option to fold either of those rear seats down and also the central panel. On this one, as I mentioned, we've got the flat load boot floor system and that lifts up and gives you further options in terms of storage um, and uh, versatility because that shelf will last will uh, come out altogether, which gives you greater depth. And we'll just close that back down and carry on now back down the near side or passenger side. Pop that passenger door open. Check out the door card, it's beautiful. As is the passenger seat from this side as well. And then finally, not forgetting the front passenger door. There we go, absolutely gorgeous. And the front passenger seat is as beautiful as the driver's seat. And that too is height adjustable, just using that lever there. So to sum up, here we've got a 2012 Mini Countryman Cooper with chili pack, full leather, sun protection glass, xenon headlamps to name but a few of the options. It's done 37,167 miles in 10 years and it's had one owner from new and it comes complete with the benefit and reassurance of a fully documented mini service history. Once I finish the video, our team will come in and look over to cure the interior so it's all safe and ready for you to come and inspect. I hope you've enjoyed the video. My name's Stephen and I look forward to speaking to you soon.